Hello everyone. Friday night. Um, head out to the barn. I'm going to show you a little bit. Grass is going crazy. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but some of the grass is just longer than the rest. The cub cadet is just, I don't know, just does not mow good. And I really want to get this deer going because uh, it really handles the thick stuff a lot better. It doesn't bog down at all. And uh, it cuts are real nice, right? In, real nice and even. So uh, I'm walking down to the barn right now. Weather's kind of crappy. It's like it was high in the mid 50s today and low in the upper 30s. Kind of sucked. But. We do got some flowers out. Oh yeah. Very nice. Anywho, um, I wanted to take a second to uh, thank 1944 John Deere L. Bronco Carl 92 Velvet Hama, Musty 1 WTBM 123, Aerosport 103, 65 Ford, Fin Painter 1 Lakeside Ranch, and 1970 Chevelle 396. Uh, you guys, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the videos and give me advice, and especially Bronco Carl for giving me a phone call, uh, talking me through a few things over the phone. I really appreciate you guys' time. Um, once again, the garage gang showing it's metal, you know. Uh, something else I'm a little bit excited about. Oh yeah, we have apple blossoms. And not only do we have apple blossoms, Life's not great. We also have cherry blossoms. I don't know if you guys have, uh, if I've shown you guys this before, but this is our budding orchard. And I'll uh, show it to you here over my shoulder. <clears throat> this is our little, little orchard. You can see we're at the corner of my property. There's the intersection right there. And uh, hopefully I'm not making you too dizzy. There's the barn. So right next to the barn, we've got six trees, four apple and two cherry. Planted about five years ago, and I think hopefully this year will be the first year we actually get some, a crop. Last year, I may have told you before, this entire area, the entire spring crop was destroyed by a very late frost that just wiped out 95, 90 to 95% of the areas apple crop which is the staple crop of this area so it was it was a bad time for the local farmers all right i'm gonna get the barn unlocked here get inside and stop talking and start tearing some things apart i'll be right back with you okay guys uh well, i went online today and i came across this diagram which is a real nice diagram that shows pretty much every part on the variator now this is an orid or an early model. This this shot mantle is from an early model because it's got a clutch slash brake pedal, where mine has two separate pedals. But I'm pretty sure that the mechanism is pretty much the same. Now you will see that there's this. Okay, the uh, the the rod comes down onto this um, pivot. And the rod comes down from the pivot to the pulley. And there is a rod here with a, I think with a spring on it. In the middle of the rod that goes down to the pulley. Now, call me crazy, but... I don't see that rod with a spring on it. I see instead 
this guy that goes and connects to this, which connects to the clutch pedal assembly. With a loose bolt, of course. And another interesting thing you'll see here is the rear drive belt pretty much coming in contact with this guard. So am I missing a part here? Pulley, guard, bracket that connects to the side of, of the steel that comes down to the pulley. Where the drawing shows completely different mechanism entirely. Maybe this drawing is just different, not for the right John Deere. I think this one's for 110s and 112s. Hey, 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 hey. Well, I guess it's time to pull the belts off. Um, John Deere 1944L Tell me what you think. I know you've seen these before. Specifically on John Deere, so this is loose too. See how crooked that bolt is? And it looks like there's a grease zerg right there in the middle, up there on that shaft. If I take the whole thing out, I'll be able to grease it. All right, well, time to start pulling this thing apart. All right, so step one on these to get the uh, belts off is to take the rear right wheel off. Look at how heavy duty these freaking things are. Five lug like construction tires, construction truck tires. I like that. I like that kind. So, yeah, now we pull this uh, pulley right here to get the belt off. Right, okay, we got the belts off. This is the uh, brand new drive belt. You can see it's... Brand new. I'm going to grab these numbers so I can double check to make sure this is the right belt. Obviously it's a made by John Deere belt and it was sold to me by the John dealership based on my model number so it should be right. But M82258CPT and then there's a number 4411 on it also. So we're going to double check that. This is the rear belt which has seen better days. It's not terrible but it's not great either so I'm going to go ahead and Replace that while we got it apart. Try to get a good focus on it. There you go. Not great, but not... No, not bad, but not great either. So, might as well replace that. They're not too bad. I think they're about $25. Okay. Let's get underneath here again. <clears throat> My sheave. It is not moving back and forth. And like I said, I did take this off one time and cleaned it and thought I had it working right, but apparently not. See, it will go. It's not easily. loose that's supposed to be so any of you guys with experience do I uh, try to get this one working try to find a used one looks like it's not bad so what I did before was went in here with some steel wool try to clean up the uh, center part and I put a little bit of white lithium grease, which I now regret because you're supposed to use dry. But I don't think I got any. I used very little, so I don't think I got any on there. 
So, next task will be to get that thing out of there. Another possible small oddity here. This is the uh, main axle bolt for the pivot, and uh, it was quite loose. I, th I know it's not supposed to be all the way tight because it can pr inhibit the turning, but um, this was pretty loose. All right, got this variator out. Uh, take back what I said before about something missing. It looks like I think that that drawing I have is for an older version because this all looks factory and uh, it looks like this is supposed to be that way except for maybe this bolt was replaced, I don't know. But Yeah, everything looks as expected here. This thing uh, spins real nice. It's not loose. I've seen a lot of them that make a lot of grinding noises and stuff when you spin them. And they're supposed to spin for a while, you know. That looks like it spins pretty good. But you know, it does look like we got a problem with the sheave here, guys. It's not easy. I don't know what they're supposed to be like, but I would imagine they're supposed to move pretty freely, slide back and forth, and this is not. So, the question is, can I take this axle apart, take these three pieces apart, and then... Uh, clean up inside. This looks like it's some kind of pressed in, sealed in axle, maybe. So it's that or find a good used one. So if any guys have any input on that, let me know. I know I can get used ones, they're all over eBay. But you know how eBay is, kind of taking a risk on whether or not it's gonna, you're going to get a good one. Um, I will say this, the sheave fits pretty tightly, so I'm wondering if I can get that cleaned up on the inside there. This might work pretty well. Alright, well that's it for this video guys, I don't want to make it too long, but hey, thanks everyone for your help, I really appreciate it. This will be part two in this series, hopefully of three or four part series. And uh, hopefully I'll be uh, mowing with this John Deere soon and then selling the Cub Cadet. That would make John happy. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one. One last thing to tack on here. Uh, I was just looking at this, trying to figure out how one would take this apart. Um, I Googled it and didn't find anything, but did talk about people wanting to take it apart. Um, so this is what I'm dealing with uh, on one side. Looks like they're, I was wondering if this maybe a ring on the inside comes out. If so, it's probably not easy to get out of there. Um, so if it's readily apparent to any of you guys how this is taken apart, let me know because me just looking at it, I don't see how one would take this apart. So... If you have any insight, please let me know. Thanks.